despicable, like Chris said. Mm-hmm. As boxing fans and people in the industry, we're like programmed to just accept this. Like, oh, it's a money thing. This this fight, it, it's a it's a horrible fight. Boxing fans should be in an uproar. Canelo. Fa- you heard that? Finally, bro. Like, you know, I've been I've been called a Canelo hater probably for as long as I've had my channel, man, just for keeping the shit real and pretty much just telling you guys what everybody's now realizing, bro, what these guys are talking about, you know what I'm saying? Just for telling you guys the truth, man, um, these guys make very, very good points on this uh, on this interview right here. It's a Pro Box TV. You guys got to check it out, bro. These guys basically break down everything uh, that's going on with Canelo and this uh, Charlo fight. Um, it's rumored that he's going to be fighting Jamal Charlo, which I had told y'all he was going to be doing this shit. And uh, everybody thought I was crazy, but I caught out these fights even before they happened, even before the Jamal fight happened. You know, but um, yeah, it's pretty crazy, bro. Let's let's hear a little bit more of, of this uh, interview. Fans should be in an uproar, but they won't be because it doesn't matter to them who Canelo fights. Man, I- I'm getting in arguments. We just did a show on Canelo who's the man, and, and Teddy Atlas didn't have Canelo's number one. And I'm literally, I found myself going back and forth with these Canelo fans. Going back and forth with these Canelo fans. And see, that's the thing, bro. Um, Polly in this interview, uh, Polly Malignaggi, he makes some good points about uh, the Canelo fans, and he's he basically re- refers to them as groupies, you know what I'm saying? Because at, at the end of the day, that's pretty much what they are, bro. Um I had told you, I, I told you all this a long time ago, man. I told you all that this is boxing, you know. I think before anything, you got to be a, a, a fan of the sport of boxing. But see, a lot of a lot of the Canelo fans, I don't think they're really boxing fans, bro. I just think they're more like groupies, you know what I'm saying? Like how these guys are saying. They're more groupies. They probably don't really even know too much about boxing. But but boy, do they love to come on here and... and uh and 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 argue and and you know just defend Canelo and all that shit. But at the end of the day, um, um, I think half of these guys don't really even know what's going on, bro. They probably have never even watched like a David Benavides fight. You know, they probably don't even know that he's been the mandatory for the last three years. You know, they probably don't know the way this boxing thing works. That Canelo should be defending his titles against the worthy uh, opponent. You know, um. It's like, Jamal, bro, why, why does he get the shot? What has he done to deserve the shot more than Benavides? You know what I'm saying? And see, this is what a lot of these Canelo uh, groupies, uh, Canelo fans, what they they just seem to miss, bro. They just don't, or they probably just don't want to realize or they just don't want to accept, you know, that there's there should there's supposed to be rules in place when it comes to this boxing thing, you know? And Canelo is supposed to be defending against the the uh, the fighters that have earned their, their chance and their spot, you know, but he's not. He pretty much just picks and chews. And um, you got all these guys arguing and talking about, ah, Canelo could do whatever he wants and this and that. But listen to yourself, man. Like, it's not it's not supposed to be like that, bro. He's a, this, is, this is a sport, you know what I'm saying? This is what... At the end of any sport, you're trying to see who the best is, right? Any sport, that's the whole purpose of sports, bro, to see who's the best, the best team, the best whatever. Um, it doesn't matter if it's basketball, the NFL. Um, but boxing is, now it's gotten to a point where it's like, you guys don't even want to find out who who the best is, you know what I'm saying? You guys are happy just riding Canelo and just hoping that he, I don't know, man, it, it, it's crazy, bro. But at the end of the day... Um, there's still some of us that haven't forgotten what this what this uh, boxing is really supposed to be about, you know. It's about the best fighting the best, you know, and I've been preaching that shit forever on my channel. And I've gotten a lot of hate for it, bro. I've gotten a lot of criticism for it, but I, I just got to keep it real, bro. And I at the end of the day, I know what it is, you know. But um, but let's hear a little bit more uh, of this interview. And Paulie, you're right. You can't, you can't, uh, don't let them bait you. Don't, don't try and talk sense into them because you just Hell can't no. do it. This is a terrible fight. Think about it as a sport, just a sports fan. Why is Jamal Charlo getting a shot at the guy who's got all the belts at 168? David Benavides, some people think he's the best fighter at 168. Say he's number two. Benavides is the best fighter at 168. Uh, Regardless of how y'all want to argue this, um, 
there's still a lot of people out here that think that Canelo will beat Benavides. Um, if you're a true boxing fan, I think you got to know that Benavides will probably run through Canelo at this point. Um, Benavides, he's just, he's just, uh, at this point, bro, he's just at a whole different level than Canelo, to be honest with you. And I know, of course, a lot of people are still going to argue about it or whatever and worry, you know, I mean, it's cool. They could argue. It's not like I know, bro. It's just my opinion, too. You know, um, Benavides, I just see him really running through Canelo. But, um, but you know, there's only one way to find out, man, and, and, and that that is to make the fight. But this fight is only being held up due to Canelo. And, and you guys got to stop to think about, like, why really, really stop to think about it and, and be real with yourself, bro. Like, why doesn't Canelo want to fight Benavides, man? Because even Canelo knows what I know, bro. He knows that Benavides will whoop him. But uh, let's get back to this real quick. He's been number two for how long? And he still hasn't got a shot? Aren't you supposed to, when you're a champion, you're supposed to defend against the best fighter? And not in boxing. It's who can make you the most money. In other sports, they don't do that. In the NBA Finals, you know, if it's the Lakers in this. Yeah, bro. And, uh, the, and see, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing that rubs me the wrong way too, bro. When people bring the money thing into it, like, oh, Canelo's the face of money, the, the face of boxing, because he brings the most money and this and that. Like, bro, I don't know how the fuck y'all made that shit cool or popular. Uh, the, the, you know this money thing, bro. Um, I know how important money is, of course, and everything, bro. But at the end of the day, let's take it back to the sports uh, side of things, bro. And 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 why do y'all keep defending Canelo with this money shit, bro? Like, like um. We're trying to find out who the best boxer is, bro. This is boxing. We're not trying to find out who the best fucking ticket seller is, bro. Or who's breaking the records for the most money. This is boxing, bro. We're trying to find out who the best boxer is right here. You know, the best fighter. Yeah, man. But uh, look, check out. Let's get let's get to Polly. Uh, Polly makes some really good points on here, too. You know, Polly gets a lot of hate, too, bro. But he keeps this shit real. He keeps it 100 all the time, man. That's why I fuck with Polly, bro. But um, look, man, listen to what Polly has to say. You know, I love just, you know giving it to the Canelo blowhards because they're, they're like, <laughs> George talks about trying to reason with them. Why would you try to reason with, yeah. with low IQ losers? I mean, it's, <laughs> you're, if you're, if you're a groupie by, by willingly and by design, I and mean, there's no reason to, there's no reason to argue with you. you, you... See, Polly, he's pretty much, you know, see, this is pretty much what Polly's saying, bro, that the Canelo fans, they really are groupies, bro, at the end of the day. They, that's, at the end of the day, I never really thought about it like that, but um, he, he's, it's very true, man want to be right. I mean, can I look at defecate right on your front porch and you go scoop it up and plant it in your, in, into your garden in the back and, and brag about it to your friends too, I mean, they, instead of being mad. I mean, that, that, the, the these are the kind of people... Like, I mean, you, you, you're about the same level. Okay. Yeah, once, once you start to... Go to the... Yeah, man, but um, so yeah, you know, um, you know, they're saying that it's rumors that Canelo's going to fight Jamal uh, in May, but it's true, bro. I, I told y'all this. I already knew this was coming, you know. Um, I think... The the good thing, bro, is that I, I kind of see more people kind of catching on and really realizing what Canelo's doing or what he's about these days. Um, and a lot of people are kind of switching. It's it's not like, bro, like for me, it's not like I want people to switch over. Or I really don't care what people do, bro. People could be Canelo groupies all they want. But at the end of the day, bro, it's it's kind of more about just keeping it real, bro. Like, like some of y'all just got to start keeping it real and just realizing, bro, like what it really is. And, uh, and I'm glad that a lot of you guys are opening up your eyes and really um, seeing the kind of garbage that these guys are trying to feed us. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's time for us to to not accept these fights, bro, and to push for the best fights to happen, bro. To push for the, the fighters that deserve the shots to get the shots. You know what I'm saying? And not let Canelo keep going on with this circus that he's been doing, bro. He's pretty much just... He's doing whatever he wants with his fans, man. And... Um, and a lot of them, they're just happy as long as he keeps winning. And, and Canelo knows this, so that's why he's able to, to pick and choose and pick all these easy fights. But, I mean, come on, man. At the end of the day, Jamal Charlo, bro, like, this guy's been out the ring for I don't know how many years. And then he just fought um, Jose Benavides uh, Jr. You know what I'm saying? He brought him up in weight. Um, he ain't looked nothing special in that fight. Like, so why would he get the shot, bro? But, I mean, you, we, know, we know what it is, right? Um the real boxing fans, they know they know what this shit is. But uh, at the end of the day, man, I'm glad that these guys did this interview, man. And you guys should go watch it. It's on uh, Pro Box TV. Really good interview, man. Um, I highly recommend it for y'all to go check it out. But 
yeah, I just wanted to come out here and make, you know, uh, and, you know, just get some of these points across and stuff, man. But, uh, you know, that's it for me, you guys. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel and um, uh, leave me a comment, man. I'll be on to the next one. I'm out.